This show is brought to you in part by Jason's Deli on Wood Crossing in Greenville. Hey guys, I'm Joanne Johnson, the motivational chef, and this is Good Mood, Good Food. It's been a minute since we've been in the studio, and I am so pumped and excited. Today, we're making a honey balsamic glazed chicken that is done in 15 minutes or less. We have R.V. Bennett in the studio with us. You're going to love him. Of course, we have Aaron Michael from Whistle 100, and we're talking about making an impact. We'll see you in just a second. And we're back, and I have a wooden spoon. <laughs> now, Aaron, you're Italian. Yes, ma'am. You know what this means. No. <laughs> this yeah. is not good. Not good. This usually. is not good. <laughs> um, this was my mom's weapon of choice, or shall I say her, her what would we call it? Or spank and stick. Um, yeah. Never go in and say, hey, go get the wooden spoon. Like, oh. No, it's kind of like somebody getting sent out to it. Go get the switch. Make switch. A pick. Exactly. you got to pick it yourself. Yep. Okay. So listen, we're going to make a honey balsamic chicken. Sounds and before amazing. you and I get to talking and catching up, because yep. we've not seen each other in a minute. It's been a while. It has been a while. Let's start our chicken because we know it's going to take a minute. Yep. So we've got some olive oil in our pan. And we've preheated, I say pan, a wok. One of my favorite things to I don't cook think with. I've ever cooked in a wok, to be honest with you. You know what? I do things other than Chinese food in the wok because it's so quick. It really gets things done. Um, and we cut That's our right. chicken small enough because yep. you know everything that we do has to be done in 15 minutes Which or less. Is so helpful. <laughs> and this shows real deal. I mean, we're cooking straight through. Yep. And uh, it's not like, oh, you know, voila, there it is. <laughs> well, sometimes we'll let make, if we make a casserole online. If we make a casserole, yeah, but the that, prep yeah. time is 15 minutes. Yeah, exactly. So, any hoozle. Um, <laughs> so we've got some chicken, and this is a super easy recipe. And you can see what you've got in front of you. Yep. So we started with the olive oil. Okay. And then what do we have? Uh, balsamic vinegar, and we've got some honey, which looks really good honey. And, of course, our garlic. Garlic <laughs> and a few spices yes, and some ground mustard. Okay. Ooh. But you and I were going to catch up because yes. you had a morning. Ooh, I had a morning. My, uh, my I've got 16-month-old twin boys, and one of them got a hold of a... Uh, razor in our bathroom and sliced his thumb open and so I was texting her like I'm coming I swear my bathroom's covered in blood I've got to go home and clean it but <laughs> it's this, been a stressful morning but and I'm excited called, to be here <laughs> and you called your wife and you're like don't even go in there till I get home yeah I was like just let me clean it up and I'll take care of it so, it's like <laughs> we're all intact yeah, everyone's good he's at daycare he's happy so we're uh, gonna go <laughs> I mean he's a champ you said he just stood there was like he I'm just gonna... stared at it like what's going on I'm like I don't know what's going on let me figure this out so. kids are amazing aren't yes, they amazing I, as long as you don't freak out they don't freak out I found that real fast this morning but I just kept my car so I need to watch how you do that because I tend to freak out about everything. I'm not joking you. Like, Jeff will be like, he'll call me. Okay, first of all, be calm before I go. Okay, well, saying that, does that's like telling somebody, you know, yep. no, I can't do that. Yep. Um, but I do. I tend to get a little bit excited. Yeah, and I, normally I'm the same way, but if something this morning is telling me just be calm and get it taken care of because I had to do that, I guess. Well, I love it. <laughs> and we're going to talk this morning about having impact. And we oh, were talking that. before we came on set about how a lot of time we don't think we're having impact. Yeah. I mean, have you noticed that in your own life? Uh, I mean, honestly, from my radio show, uh, some days it feels like you're just talking to yourself when I'm, I know I'm talking to thousands of people. But uh, I feel like that as a parent sometimes, too, where I feel like I'm trying and trying and trying. And maybe I feel like I'm hitting a wall when the, in the other respect, my son, my oldest son, is actually learning something and I don't realize it. So it feels like I'm not doing anything. I'm not having an impact. And then next day you're like, wow. oh, wow, he listened to what I said. You know, that type of deal. You're making me think. It reminds me of my husband, Jeff, because... We talk about, you know, that song, and you'll know who sings that I don't, um, she think, or he thinks we're just fishing, or she, yep. who sings that one? Um, um, you put me on the spot. Okay, you'll think about, about it later. Think about it. Yep. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but it, it's true, and I've been doing that with a couple of my kids. They think that you're just fishing, yep. and you're bonding, and you're doing different things, and it's a teaching moment, and you don't realize the impact that you have, yeah. and that people are watching, and everything that we do, everything that we say... And I will tell you this, you know, there's so many examples, but there was one musician that was on the show, I want to say almost a year ago, and it was, you know, at, at the end of the show, I do a real quick motivational minute, yep. 
And as we got to that minute, it is so cool to see what happens because sometimes they have an impact on people. And people on this set have been in tears. They've been broken <laughs> down. They've been, and I'm going, it's not me. I'm just the voice, you know. Yeah. But in this one case, um, what, what happened was I did the point, and afterward, he messages me, the, the guitarist, and he said, listen, he goes, that motivational point touched me in such a way. He said that I hadn't talked to my parents in six months. Oh my and he gosh. goes, and I went home, and I called them, and I reconnected and <laughs> began having a relationship with my parents again after six months. Two weeks later, his dad died. Oh, my gosh. No, I joke you not. His <sighs> dad died. And so I sat there, and when I learned of this, I broke into tears, and I was like, you know what? We don't realize. So God gave him his dad back. Yep. He gave the dad the son back prior to that happening, and then he posted just a couple days ago on social media letting people know what happened, and it, it was during a time when he posted that to, uh, to me on my wall that I was feeling like I don't make a difference. I'm not having an impact, right? <laughs> yep. And we do. And what we say actually matters. Yeah. And God works in ways that you don't, you don't understand sometimes. And he has, a, I mean, he has a timing for everything. It's amazing. I'm serious. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm it's am <laughs> and, and it floors me and, and it humbles me because it wasn't about me. I'm nothing but a mouthpiece. Yeah. If we let God use us, yep. right? And we sit here and we, and we say whatever. Like when I do these motivational minutes, people think that I prepare this stuff. I don't. I write a very, a very loose skeleton, and I open my mouth, and God comes out, and yep. he says what he wants to say, and he has the impact. Yep. Right? All right. We're going to take a break in a second, but okay. look at, okay, so this is already almost already. cooked yeah. through. You're not kidding. That wok really cooks it fast. <laughs> Everybody needs to invest in I like 12, 12 woks, <laughs> right? Okay, so we're going to finish this up, and okay. when we come back from the break, we're going to start adding some things back into this. I just kind of want to get it a little bit brown yep. before, because I, I don't like mushy chicken. I like yep. to get the golden I'm on it. Yep. And let's just make sure these are flipped over. And I want to talk more about you and what you have going on. Okay. Okay. I should let you do something. How about that? <laughs> I can do that. You do that. And that way I can keep my makeup intact, too. <laughs> that would be a cool thing. All right. Oh, when I forgot our potatoes, we're going to be adding our potatoes to that, okay. too. Sounds okay. Good cool beans. All right, let's see. Okay. I like it. I like it. It smells good. It and we've got the salt and pepper. Let's add some onion powder. Okay. So this is smelling amazing already. It is smelling amazing. <laughs> Can you add? Let's do like an eighth of a cup, maybe. Okay. You're gonna and help me with that because I am horrible at no, measuring. no. Okay. No. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay. Balsamic vinegar is one of my favorites. I love it so much. I love it. And how about some honey? Okay. You can do that. You tell Just me when on that. Okay. Good, good, good. good. I think so. And you know one thing we forgot, being the Italians that we are. <laughs> Garlic. Garlic. Yep. Can you believe that? What do you think? Too much? Good? No, that's not even enough. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. All right, there we go. Go for it. Yes. All right. Like that. Well, just a little bit more there, right? Okay. <laughs> and we're going to add some red skin potatoes. Okay. All we did is dice them and okay. microwave them. Okay, three oh, quarters of the way through. I can work that microwave. So that. <laughs> that's how we're going to get it done, right? So yeah. quickly. And how about some spices? Some rosemary, okay. sage, and thyme. And that makes us want to sing a little bit. Yep. <laughs> just like this. I'm loving this. This is. It's smelling yeah, so good. Yeah, I love the right fact here. that it's such a quick dish. Yeah. Because, oh, you know, I mean, gosh. families, baseball practice now, <laughs> work schedule is crazy. You need the quick dishes that you can get home and cook. And... That's for real. Yep. And let's just add a little bit more of the vinegar. Because, you know, I tend to do a lot of yeah. stuff. A lot. And would you believe that this thing is done? It smells amazing, too. I never would have thought of put honey and balsamic vinegar together. I know. Well, it's going to balance out the tartness. <laughs> okay. Okay, like this. But what I, the only reason I added more yep. is to try to get it on these potatoes. Gotcha. That makes sense. And you know what I was thinking? We, okay, we added some sea salt, some onion powder, okay. some garlic, some black pepper, and let's add our Dijon mustard. Okay. You want to do that? Yep. And I think try half of that at okay. first, and then we'll see where we are. 
I love this this stone ground mustard. Uh, That's my good. My favorite on on like a good salami sandwich. Or oh yeah, a, man. Oh man. You Let me ask it. you a question. You got Himalaya salt over there. I see people cooking with that a lot. What's the difference between Himalaya salt and sea salt and regular salt? What's the difference? Okay. Well, the Himalayan, and I use this on pretty much everything. Okay. Um, it does not raise your blood pressure the way that iodized salt does. Oh. It's very, very good for your thyroid and your adrenals. Um, it's just an amazing salt. And I will tell you this, though, it's a little stronger than regular salt. Oh, okay. So but maybe... you will see your blood pressure go down and huh. stuff by just switching your salts. Really? Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I probably need that. <laughs> uh, I mean, with our stress level, yeah. you know. <laughs> Not to say that we don't love our jobs, but yeah, no, there's you know, no and our kids, though. <laughs> and I've got teenagers. Ooh, well, I'm um, scared of those years. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I've got two that are learning to drive. Oh, and I, and you I've got brake on your side of the car yet? <laughs> right, right. And I, can I tell you that Jeff lets me go out <laughs> with him? Not him, me. Yeah, my. Uh, I took my niece out driving one time. We got about a mile down the road. I was like, That's good. Let's go home. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> so Jeff, no, but Jeff took her. Jeff took one of them out, and she she went right through a red light. And oh, I mean, no. he came back. He's white as a ghost. <laughs> and I mean, he needs Himalayan sea salt now. <laughs> so because he was like, you know what? She almost killed me. Um, no, he didn't. He handles things a lot better than I do. That man has no stress. I mean, so yeah. people go, oh, we have four daughters. And they're like, oh, poor Jeff. Poor Jeff, nothing. <laughs> do you understand how pampered the man is? Okay? But don't. he'll lie. He'll tell you, oh, yeah, it's awful. <laughs> it's not awful. All right. So this is smelling. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm going to say fantastic and amazing. Yeah, I know. It smells amazing. But let's talk more about the impact. Because we carried on with our conversation when you guys were gone. But we, <laughs> we talked amongst ourselves. Yeah. You know? Well, it brought me back to remembering, uh, you know, when I was a kid, my dad was a helicopter pilot. He was a missionary. And he flew medical supplies in throughout Africa. And when he was home, he'd always have me help him with a helicopter. And when I was a kid, I, I hated that. I was like, well, this is boring. I want to go do something else. And uh, now that I, you know, I'm a homeowner and I've got my son and I'm, I got a truck that I like working on, I have him help me with it. And I realized, wow, that actually taught me a lot more than I ever thought. And That's you know, true. and so it, when you're talking about making an impact, we talk, the smallest things can make an impact. And like even just, you know, coming home from school and having my son help me get stuff out of the car, it may seem like the most trivial thing, but to him, it's hey, I'm helping dad out. And I'm like, man, I don't realize, you know, what kind of impact you have on just your kids and let alone people that. You know, listen to my radio show, if I just share one piece of good news versus yes. talking about something negative in the news, maybe that brightens someone's day or makes them smile. It's incredible how small something can do to make an impact on someone's life. Well, and I I, I think we need to say something about that, too. If, can I get you to put this out? Yep, I sure I, can. Because you're not wearing all the makeup <laughs> and the fake eyelashes and stuff. Um, I'll hold it like that and pretend like I have purpose. <laughs> um, but... Uh, Yes, with your view, with your listeners, with the viewers, and I had a lady call in, and this is not like the "Hey, check Joanne show out," but this woman called me this one day, and she watches the morning ministry shows because I have a morning show as well. Yep. And she called me this one day, and she said, "Listen," she said, "I'm going to be dead in three days. This is no lie." And she was like, I need to make sure that you pray for me. I need to talk to you. And I'm sitting here like, you want to talk about on the floor <laughs> and humbled yeah. and like, who am I? Why yep. are you calling me? But you don't, I, I was like, no one watches that show. Nobody cares. You know, people care, you guys. They're listening to you. They're watching you. And again, this is not to, to put the focus on me. This is to put the focus on God and the focus on everybody that I know is that sometimes you feel like I don't make a difference and I don't have a purpose and I don't know. But you do, just as your radio viewers, they tune in. Maybe they're in a bad mood, they're sad, whatever it is, yep. and they're tuning in to listen to what you have to say. I do a thing every day called What's Good, where I have people call in and tell yes. me some good news, and that's how I give my tickets away. But I figure, you know, good news. And I had a gentleman stop me in the store one day and say, you know, my son and I, he gets bullied a lot in school, his dad said, and they're trying to work with the teachers. But he said the thing they like do when they get in the car after the long day, they talk about how his day was, and then they will listen for their good news so they have, you know, something to smile about. I'll like, who would have thought? A you simple see? segment, yeah. <laughs> and I know that's what I'm saying. And and you may think it's simple, and you may think it doesn't make a difference. But look, we're here to tell you it's absolutely true. Yeah. All right, we're gonna come back. Your fork in hand. I'm we're gonna take to a go. quick break. <laughs> All right. When we get back, we're gonna see if this is any good, and we're gonna hear from Arby Bennett. I 
why they let us come here. Right? <laughs> I know. I'm making a mess. You, I'm look, sorry. Look. Okay. But as long as the chicken dish is good. Mm, yeah, so amazing. don't die. Okay. okay take a bite. Right? right. Let's do it. It smells and looks amazing. What excites me about it, again, is how quick it was. So he can go home and he can make it for his wife mm -hmm. and look like a rock star. Mm. So, again, mm -hmm. so the honey, the balsamic, <laughs> right, some garlic, mm -hmm. little rosemary, thyme, sage, mm -hmm. some sea salt, black pepper, or you can use Himalayan. I was over here bringing on Himalayan. I use sea salt. What? Wow. Um, and some onion powder. It all mixes together amazingly. I don't, know how, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, my gosh. The only thing we're missing is if you threw, like, a little roasted asparagus Ooh. next to it. Now, you know. So, throw, throw your cookie sheet out, yep. some parchment. Put just your asparagus, line it up, okay. a little bit of olive oil, and some cavenders, okay? I need to call them to sponsor the show. But anyway, um, no, and that's all you have to do. Really? And, oh, my gosh. And it is that's so, a, so good. Simple, too. Again, simple. It's the only way my kids will eat asparagus, <laughs> you know? But something like that, a nice green, yeah. would go nicely against that. Um, I'm excited about it, and I'm super glad that you were here. And Thank I hate that me. your sweetheart, your little baby, I know. that he had that poor thumb. I know, but you know, you had you learned that you had skills. Yep, and stuff I didn't know I could do. Yep, talking about impact. Um, I kind of want to taste that myself, but yeah. I, don't, I don't do carbs. But I could, I could taste some chicken. Oh, you got to taste the chicken at least. It's really Is good. It, yeah, it's amazing. It's very good, yes, ma'am. All right, so <laughs> you guys make this. Get the recipe off of the website, joannejohnsonmedia.com. Um, I wanted to thank Aaron Michael from Whistle 100 for coming today. I also want to thank Jason's Deli in Greenville. They provided craft services for all of our crew today. Um, we're very grateful to them. You guys need to go, and they do catering. They do all kinds of stuff. Their food is amazing. amazing. So please go take care of that. And we're going to get to hear from R.V. Bennett in just a couple minutes, but I wanted to just talk briefly again. Um, you know, I have to hit those points home. You know how I am um, talking about having impact. And we shared some stories, and I know that all of you guys have stories as well. Um, but there's some people, and, and this is kind of where I want to hit on today, people that are going to try to stop doing anything. They're going to, they, they feel like, well, it's not making a difference. I don't know what my purpose is. Mm -hmm. Um, if, if what I'm doing isn't mattering, if people aren't calling me, my phone lines, they aren't lighting up. I'm not getting the email, the Facebook praises. I mean, everybody's hitting my figurative liter and literal like button, whatever it is. And so you feel like, you know, maybe I just need to go ahead and quit this. Can I encourage you that? No, you do not need to quit that. You never, ever know who you're having impact on. In fact, sometimes you're a catalyst. And what I mean by that is you're out here and you're sprinkling these seeds, Right. Yep. So you're doing these different things and you may not see the the results of that right now, but you're planting seeds for people. Um, and maybe what you're doing is going to help somebody else to get ahead or to make a certain connection. Another point is when you come on this show, like our bands, we have DJs and bands um, and radio personalities. I have over the past year and a half watched everybody make all these wonderful connections and they're giving each other jobs and gigs <laughs> and all that. Meanwhile, can I get one? Okay, no, uh, but, it, but it's happening and it's, and it's so cool. And there in the beginning, I thought, why am I doing this? You know, what, what's going on? But now I'm starting to see all of this. So again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let, oh, we're going to get to Arby, but let me just say this i love you um come back and see us next week please don't give up keep doing what you're doing and make sure that you um, get with rv bennett on facebook and also on his website and we'll have that information on our website as well joannejohnsonmedia.com come back and see us next week we love you I don't want to be lonely, but I like to be alone. Wide open spaces call me, but I still want to have a home. I'm more afraid of what's inside me than I am of any man. I like to have it under control, but I rarely have a plan. I find a man too fast. Read in the next day More than what's on the outside More than what some people say I'm just a cowboy trying to tame This wild horse inside There are days I take the reins Days I let it ride I'm just a cowboy trying to put down This old foolish pride 
Cause I know it's gonna kill me If I can't leave it behind Just a cowboy trying to live with Something I can't hide a Restless heart, a reckless way And a rough rebel side a Restless heart, a reckless way And a rough rebel side Got a lot of folks who know me, but I don't have many friends. I can get along with anyone, but I rarely let them in. I'm more afraid of this crowd than taking the solitary stand. I like having it my own way, but I know I rarely can. See, I try to be a good man. But the bad man's always there More than a cowboy hat More than the dirty boots I wear Just a cowboy trying to tame This wild horse inside There are days I take the reins Days I let it ride Just a cowboy trying to put down This old foolish pride Cause I know it's gonna kill me If I can't leave it behind Just a cowboy trying to live with Something I can't hide A restless heart, a reckless way And a rough rebel side A restless heart, a reckless way And a rough rebel side